Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Yves LeVing. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Assassin. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the spinning takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so there it is, the only takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? 
making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Single collar tie now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Enters in on the double leg. And they separate. Look at the turtle in that kick. Three minutes to go in the round. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he has. Little shot wounds. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Timely defense there, huge blocks for him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And that one was heavy. Oh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows on the guard. Oh, collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big and kick. How about the volume of kicks out? Oh! Oh, straight right! really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. We need the take down. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Straight right hand now, just misses. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's out for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, he hurt bad with the jab. What a fight so far. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these really start to take the risk. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh! Straight right hand, no good. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food. Somebody there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. This is almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now that is how you scramble, folks. That was a nice play. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. He loaded up in that right hand, too. Oh, the thunderous thing is he looked it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny hurt. He hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big leg kick lands. the takedown, no problem. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Wow. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Right hand punch from the clinch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Nice kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that... Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the underground king. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Alvarez. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Alvarez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Head kick there blocked by Eddie Alvarez. Final seconds here. Whoa! So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
This thing's all you, man. Go out there and knock them down again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. That's a big strike right there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Right, looking inside the close guard now. He got him bad! All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Alvarez gets back up, back into his comfort zone. And they separate. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there! Just a split there. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defense of wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. Nice punch by Alvarez. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Takedown defense holds up. Battle for position here. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh! He wiped him out! No Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.